Dateline, Scottsdale Community College, Scottsdale, Arizona, November 6th, 2018. It was a normal day, a day that started like any other, but by dusk, this campus would be flipped, turned upside down, from shock. This is the SCC Film Hub. We call it the Fish for short. It's also home to the cage, where the school houses all the cool equipment. It's a great place, which is something that made it all the more shocking. When one of our own made a discovery that would confound the school's officials and infuriate its students. A discovery that would set the local community on fire. A discovery that would change the course of our lives forever and prompt the question, who shit on the fish? To help get to the bottom of this dirty deed, I've assembled a crack team of students slash investigators. This is Yashar. He's an expert on Freudian psychoanalysis and the criminal mind. Meet Robert. He's the only one of us who has a camera. Who's that handsome guy? Just kidding. That's me, Zeke. So the shit was shitted right about here. That's gotta be like three and a half feet up. That couldn't have been a dog. I mean, they could have been, you know? Like, yeah, look at the trajectory. He'd have to shit up into the air like the guy on Jackass. Or they could have been tall. Like, or they could have, you know, like yeeted it up there. Dogs can't yeet. Holy shit. It's not holy. For the purposes of investigation, we've come up with a code name for the person who did the shit, the poopetrator. Our first idea was to visit the offices of public safety to try to get the security camera footage. But when they heard what it was for, they started laughing and made us leave. Our next idea was to hit the pavement and ask around to see if anyone knew anything that could help us. Hey, thanks for coming in to help. My pleasure. What can I do for you today? Okay, so we're trying to find out who shit on the fish. Who shit on the fish? <laughs> Are you telling me that somebody shit on my fish? Someone shit on the fish? With how crazy the political climate and everything is going on right now, do you really think that this is something that we need to add to the collective stress level that we're going through right now? I'm not sure if, it, if we're ready for it. Do you think it may have been a political statement? Oh, now that's a good idea. Clearly, a lot of effort was put into it. I mean, it was, it was obviously pre-planned, mm -hmm. uh, premeditated, mm -hmm. uh, pre-calculated. Just the, the trajectory of it. Yeah. Right. And I don't know if, you know, when you, you put that much effort into something like this, I mean, it, it has to be, it can't just be just petty vandalism. I just want my associate's degree, bro. I didn't ask for all this. We heard this isn't the first potty problem you guys have had recently. Well, Camo Tem tried to flush a cherry bomb down the toilet and the motion sensor failed to trigger, so it blew up right there in the bowl. I was the one that had to clean it up, though. Students are saying they've seen some strange things in the fish. Have you seen anything? Well, I haven't seen anything, but I've, I've smelled some stuff. Smelled? Yeah, so when you walk past the Daniel Craig spot, it smells like someone ripped major ass, but no one's around. Joe actually likes to call it the phantom ass. We didn't have to go far to solve the case of the farting phantasm. I go over by Daniel Craig when I need to fart. At first it was rough going, 
But eventually, that's how we found the guy who found the poop. Can you tell us what you saw, PJ? All right, so we were outside of the fish building, packing up the truck for the fall capstone uh, that I was DPing. And after I finished the sandbags, I was going to go take a break, so I walked over to the trash can thingies. As I went to pull some sweet, sweet cotton, that's when I noticed that something was off. The corn. I'll never forget that corn. Not for the rest of my life. Thanks to PJ's story, we were able to catch up with the janitor who was called in to hose off the fish. So, you know, I'm going around campus, Pokemon hunting. I do that from time to time. See that there's a Charizard ready to start. And uh, I love Charizard. I'm halfway through the fight. Boss calls. Get down here quickly. It's urgent. Bring a hose. Doesn't tell me what it was for, obviously. I get here. See this. I wanted that Charizard. How do you feel about the poopy trainer? Well, I was walking down the sidewalk and I smell something strong, very strong. And I tried to walk away, but I couldn't. I turned my head and I saw it. I'm like, I screamed out loud, it, it's a shit. And it was my first time cursing in English. It doesn't matter where I am here at home, my church, every night I see the same. And every night it gets closer. The walls start closing in. And right before it touches me, I wake up and I can smell it. I don't know what to do. I'm into it. I personally, I think it is like a Banksy. Was there anything like written? Was it any specific like symbol patterns or anything? There was corn. Who do you think the poopy trader is? I heard it was Tony. Porno. Tony. Motherfucking porno. He's the only sick bastard who would even think of doing such a thing. Spring 2018, Tony Porno was on the set of a capstone. And apparently he pissed a couple people, tell people to go fuck themselves, stole some food, fed some homeless people with it or something. I don't know what it was, but he really pissed them off that he got fired from the set. Well, apparently he has this really bad vendetta against people involved in that. And he's been really you know, talking shit ever since. Huh. I hear it was Tony Porno, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> I heard it was Tony Porno. You think it was Tony? I, I don't know. I mean, it, it kind of makes sense because of the capstone shit, but Tony's always been cool to me. I, my money is on Gary. You think Gary Connolly shit on the fish? I remember him being really pissed off at the school district at the time because the, the teachers' union just lost their right to collectively bargain with the school district. How do you even know that? Shit, man. Phoenix DSA Twitter couldn't shut up about it. Honestly? Yeah. I think you did it. What? With all these accusations towards Tony Porno, we thought we should sit down and get this straight from the man himself. Can you state your name for me? Hmm? Who are you? Mm, I'm just fucking with you, bro. I heard what you said. My name is Tony Gabaldon, but everybody in the school calls me Tony Porno. Why do they call you Tony Porno? Because I told everybody in class that I wanted to be a porn star when I grew up. Do you want to be a porn star? Game recognizes game. Sex work is valid work, it's just not for me. Then why did you tell people that? 
I knew they'd believe me. My first instinct said that he was telling the truth. Plus, he showed us his SoundCloud. It was good stuff, but we still weren't any closer to finding who the perpetrator was. It was then that I got an email from someone claiming that they saw it happen. Okay, so we're trying to keep your identity a secret. What should we call you? You may refer to me as Deep Neck. Okay, thank you very much, Deep Neck. From what I understand, you saw the incident? I saw the whole thing. I saw who did it. You saw who did it? Who was it? All right, I'm coming out of my block class, right? And by the way, I'm calling it the fucking block class. Fuck that shit about calling it the workshop. Do I look like a fucking elf? Like no. one of Santa's goddamn elves? No. Like the fucking pointy ears? No. Like Orlando Bloom? No, sir, you don't. No. So anyways, I'm coming out of my block class. It's late. It's like six. Okay. And I gotta, you know, I gotta get Bill's signature on some bullshit, so I go over to the fish to check his hours or whatever. And I catch this motherfucker. This rank, disgusting, greasy sack of bastard in the middle of pulling down his pants. Pulling down his pants? Pulling down his pants. Clean off. Clean off. No pants. No pants. This motherfucker's walking around like Donald Duck. Jesus. So anyways, I move in a little bit closer. You know, for the story. Right. And I start hearing the most heinous thunderous farting I've ever heard in my life. What did that sound like? Imagine the old ones, the elder gods of the void, coming through to this plane of reality, tearing the very air asunder. Jeez. Well, anyways, it was, it was Tony Porno. Tony Porno? He's the one who did it? Tonography pornography. Oh my god. Finding an eyewitness to the perpetrating felt amazing, but as we soon learned, it might have been too good to be true. Who shit on the fish? Oh, I, I don't know, but I was uh, probably there when it happened. Oh shit, really? Yeah, I was there till like 5.45 pulling gear for the capstone, and uh, I remember I had a date to see the new Suspiria that night at 6, so. How was new Suspiria? New Suspiria fucks. Did you notice anything was off when you left? Uh, no way. It was way too dark. We have a witness that places Tony Porno at the scene of the crime between 5.45 and 6 p.m. Yeah, that's a fucking lie. I was there. I was waiting for Carson to get off of work, and then we were going to go see New Suspiria. And you didn't see anything suspicious while you were out there? I didn't see anything because it was dark, and I had just gotten there right after sunset. I was waiting for him to get off. It took forever. He got off around 6, and then we were even two minutes late to the movie. How was New Suspiria? New Suspiria fucks. There's something not adding up about these testimonies. But we know that Elisa came to pick up Carson at 5.30. Then they left at 6.05. But Deep Neck fingered Tony Porno at the scene around 6 o'clock. What does that mean? The sunset's at 5.30, so they wouldn't be able to see anything. Oh, fuck. That means... Deep Neck is a fucking liar! I fucking told you guys! It felt like we were finally getting somewhere. But unfortunately, global microbiology had other plans for us. And we had to put our investigation on hold. Until I got a letter from a lawyer's office inviting us to an online call. Are we in trouble? They can't sue us for asking people about poop, right? I don't want to get in trouble. I mean, the letter said it was from an estate lawyer or something. Oh, who would want to leave us something? Good afternoon, gentlemen. My name is Cassandra. I'll be representing the estate of Gary Connolly. How are you all doing today? How's your day? How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. In his will, Gary left us specific instructions to track you three down and let you know that he was the one who, quote, shit on the fish, end quote. 
And he did so because as part of the renegotiated contract with the teachers union, the school stopped paying for his medical marijuana. Wait, what? It also stipulates here that this was to be told to your crew because he was afraid you would never find the poop, poop a traitor. And he was worried about you and what would happen to your project should that be the case. Do you have any questions? Well, please let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. What? Huh. Yo, so sitting at school on an empty gut. I want to get lunch and pay out the blunt. My mind starts drifting to the spicy chicken. Oh my God, so bewitching. But to get there, you gotta cross a 101 and making that trip just ain't, ain't no fun. Cause when I get back from my road trip, trip in, I hit it to the john cause I can't, can't stop shit. It's the poopaloo, the poopaloo, the poopaloo, the poopaloo, the poopaloo. Wanna stay alive? It's cause the cafeteria's closed by five. And even when they're open, their price is whack. whack. Five dollars for a grunt of that messed up back. A single piece of cheese is all that five replies. And one slice of turkey, how's that for chive? I opened up a wad, I ain't got the snack. It's all enough to send me back to the poopaloo. What's so funny about poop? Uh...